Hello again, everyone. How are we doing? Uh, it's another, it's another attempt at this. You can tell, can't you, that I'm that I'm determined to get this because uh, it's I'm straight back with another attempt. Uh, for those of you who might be just joining us at this stage, in this very difficult quest, uh, twenty four thousand one hundred and sixty four is the score that I'm desperate to beat to just get onto this leaderboard. I'm never going to get the top score, but just to get on would be great. My best score, which I achieved yesterday, uh, was two two nine nine six. So that's what we're going for here today on a diverse world, no moving around. Uh, also, something that I did do yesterday was mention Nighty, the um, geo, the famous GeoGuessr player who won everyone's tournaments, who was found to be cheating. Um, I've got to make a little mini apology here because I didn't realise that the dust had kind of settled down on that already, and everyone had just said their bit, and then all of a sudden I came along. Uh, not active over Christmas, didn't have a clue what had gone on, and I was a bit late to the party, and I kind of, I've kicked up all the dust again, and I've had lots of people giving, uh, saying lots of comments on lots of videos, particularly the one that I um, linked, and some of the comments weren't very nice, so sorry about that. It probably didn't help that I said, what a wanker. So, apologies. I, I must learn that I'm a person of influence now, and um, these things have impacts. So, yeah, my position is I don't think he should be allowed uh, back into the community to play GeoGuessr again. I think the damage he's done is too great. Um, but yeah, maybe I went a bit overboard with my choice of wording. Anyway, let's get on with this. Let's get on with a nice hard bit of GeoGuessr and um, see if we can get on that leaderboard. Wouldn't it be great? Here we go. Oh, wow. Okay, here we go. First round, and we've got clues. Um, that's probably because I've had a few attempts, though, and the first round has been ungettable. The thing is with this, as some of you commented um, in the video last week, you do need a lot of luck. You need, uh, you need to keep playing this for hours, really, until you have that lucky set of rounds, but you do need to capitalise on them. That's the thing. You can't just click anywhere you know anyway uh, here I think we're in France uh, because of the road signs here and the shape of this building looks quite French the style of it fell uh, we've got the D I think that's j well do you know what that could be the D 10 something because of where the sign starts there in relation to the pole the middle of the pole so D 10 something it's really not useful, especially in France, uh, because in France there are multiple of each road name, frustratingly. I think what we want to look at is this, Alb and Fell, if anything. Firstly, though, I'm going to have a look at where I think we are, and I don't think we're too far south. I think we're probably in the middle. So, Alb and Fell. But the issue is we don't know how big those places are. They might be very small. So it's one of those where I'd have to spend a lot of time looking in the map. And because it's the first round, even though it is a good round that I should probably capitalize on, with it being the first round, it does make me less inclined to search for ages and speed the video up. You know, we could be ar anywhere around here, really, even... Further north, I guess. There's Bar Sir Alb. That's interesting. Albu. Alb. Oh, it's an Alb with a U on the end. It's probably O. Ob. Ah, I think. I think I'm probably. And what's the other one? Fell. Fell. I'm probably just going to have to guess ultimately here. Just go with a hunch. But yeah, if you want to get, if you want to top that leaderboard, definitely you want to be, um, you know, searching on the map when you get this type of round. Right. I'll have a quick search and I'll speed it up for you. Why not? Okay. Um, 
I haven't found the two places in question, but just looking at the trees, it looks a bit further south than, you know, Britain, maybe the middle of France. So I'm thinking of just going sort of around here between Bourges and Moulin. This kind of area here just feels, feels good. Let's go for it. And it's 70 miles away. So that's paid off. Here we are. We're in this area here. There's Feletton, which is what the signpost was saying. But the other place, ah, Albusson. You know, I probably would have found that with a bit more looking. Definitely, Albusson. But I got the right kind of southness uh, and the right kind of east to westness as well somehow. S 4703, very good. Let's move on. Worth a good look, wasn't it? Right, this one then. This is... I guess Norway or Sweden. I can't oh, see. This is the kind of thing that leaves your head after a, wh a while. I can't remember whether these dotted lines were. I think they're the Swedish ones rather than the Norwegian ones. But I'm I, I'm quite unlike unlikely to get a a close guess here in my eyes because just because it's snowy doesn't mean it's far north. That's one thing we learnt many moons ago on GeoGuessr. Very often it's the other way around. When it's snowy, you're in the south somehow. But in this case, I don't know. I'm just going to go in Sweden because I think that's what the markings are. Um, and I'll go somewhere down here, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. It's hard. Maybe I'll actually go a bit further south. Maybe around here. Doesn't really add up. But uh, let's go for it. Let's go around here. Oh my goodness me. <sighs> I can't believe this. The luck I'm getting here with these guesses is... I mean, you could argue it's not luck. We were over in the border in Norway. Just got to check I'm filming. Yep, thank God. That's the road we were on. It was just in Norway. Thank God I moved from that road. Which I was thinking just looks too lakey and nearer to where actually I did my straight line mission. That's what put me off because that was there, look. That's the Storakas Vatnet Reservoir. So I was like, no, let's go a bit further south where there's more pine trees. Just west of Anne. And uh, yeah. It was not far away at all. 4889. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, God. Okay. Matter of time before we left Europe. That's a great average to be on, though. I think we've left Europe anyway. Uh, right, so I think... Okay, where's the sun? I sun seems to be coming from the south. If you look at the shadow for that, sun is in the south, so we're in the northern hemisphere. British Petroleum. Yeah? Yeah. British Petroleum. Uh, Do you know what I'm thinking? Are we in Europe? That's what I'm thinking. Are we in like Portugal? Big mountains though in the distance and possibly a bit too tropical. It's not Italy, is it? Surely. But the signs there are, are telling me that it might be Portugal, uh, might be Europe. Sorry if I'm not speaking into the microphone directly at times. don't think it's Europe. I'm going to have to go. Oh, Christ. Could it be Guatemala? We can't see the roof rack. It 
Look, I think it could be Mexico potentially, but I'm going to go for just Portugal. I've just got to do it. Um, yeah, shall I go up here somewhere? I don't know. Let's have a look, another little look. Big mountains over there. So possibly up here. Go on then, I'll go here. I, have, I haven't got high hopes. Oh, that's why. Damn. It's Funchal. Funchal. Which is Portugal. Damn. That is a tough deal. No wonder it flummoxed me. And we would have had this. Oh, damn it. That's so gettable. That's so gettable. I could, with a bit of time, I could definitely... That's Thunder Bay, isn't it? Let's just quickly have a look here. Thunder Bay... And then something Marie. I don't know. Something Marie. I can't see it. But uh, let's just go here. See what happens. This one's over. Yeah. Yeah. We would have got that. And then the next one. I would have got even closer as well with a bit of work. And then this would have been our last one. I don't know, let's find out. I'll just go for Peru. And we'll see. That was just a quick guess without thinking. It was Peru, but further north. So that one would have been hard. That might have uh, ended it. That makes me feel a bit better. But let's go again. That'll definitely be part of the vid, because there were some nice guesses in there. Uh, but let's go again. Come on. Okay. Uh, this is, uh, this is useless. Uh, let's just go up here. Yeah, Argentina. Come on, let's go again. Wow, that looks like, looks like Britain, but it can't be because we're driving on the right. The road looked quite British in a way. So, moving over to Europe then. Do we go France, Netherlands, Belgium, Denmark, or Poland? It's one of those. I'm going to go Denmark, I think. Nice. Uh, 47 miles away, 4801. Great way to start. Went with a hunch. Yeah, just went for it. And it was Richtig, which is German. Oh, second round looks good as well. Taldi Bulak and Talas. And it's got the Cyrillic as well as the English version. Oh, is that the... Oh, sorry. Is that the red? The red symbol on the side, which is uh, Kyrgyzstan. Which would explain the slightly odd symbols there, to my eye at least. The other option in my head was Bulgaria, but I think this is, um, yeah, it looks a bit more wild. So let's start looking for these places. Kyrgyzstan. Did I say Tajikistan? No, I think I said Kyrgyzstan. And I found Talas. Is that what we're looking for? Yeah, there it is. So we're going to get another one, another good score here, even better than the first one. So Talas... Is 30 miles to the north. As oh, and the other way is Taldi Bulak. There it is. Taldi Bulak is 40. Talas is 30. 40 and 30. So we've got to be around here. Got to be, haven't we? Um. Let's have a look at the. Uh, no, we're more. We're more at. We're at a different angle to that. I've got to say. We're more at that sort of angle. Hmm. 
I've got to get this right. This is points, points, points. Every point counts. I wonder, could we be up here? Surely not. Talas is 30. Taldi Bulak is 40. I think if I go down here, it's too close. That's pushing it where I am at the moment. So yeah, I'll go there. Yes, it's the correct spot. I, you couldn't really see, could you? But it did feel like there might be a junction to our left, but you couldn't really see it. Wow, full points, incredible. <laughs> right, next one. Thing is, it could just crumble with one, not even that bad guess. All That's all it takes is one not incredible guess, and uh, it's over. God, this one's tough. This one is tough. We can see the shadow here for the Google car. And the sun is in the south, so we're in the northern hem. But that is about it. Sugar. Sugar me, it's hard. I guess Mexico is an option. I don't know what else to do. Are you, are you, are you feeling the struggle here? Can I just pull something out of the bag? I've got to go for something weird and wonderful. I've got to go for turkey. It's the got it's got the colours of turkey. These people look like they could be Turkish. I don't think these trees would really grow in Tunisia. I don't think the buildings look Israeli. So I'm gonna go for Turkey. I'm gonna go down here somewhere. I'll go there, Feti. This is almost definitely not very close and game over. Oh my God, it was Israel. Sugar. Damn. Okay. It's brutal. I can still beat my record, but I need insanity from now on. Don't know what we've got here. Is it sp is it is it Spain or what or Italy? I can't tell. I can't read anything. Panadega. This isn't Spain, is it? It's got to be Mexico or something. Or maybe it's even Argentina or something. Let's have a look at the cars. I think it's Argentina. So I'm going to find a city in Argentina that's got a, a mountain in the distance. The reason I'm saying Argentina is just because it's flat and just the way the buildings look. Most big cities that aren't flat are in other countries. Well, most of the other countries' big cities aren't flat, basically. So let's have a look here. Got to find one with a mountain on the far side. And the trees. Hmm. So look at Cordoba. No. Mendoza. How about that? No, there's no mountain to the east. 
Got to find that mountain to the east. What about Bahia Blanca? No. Just looked at Rosario. Santa Fe. It can't be. There's a river there. Cordoba we've looked at. What about this place? No, I'm afraid not. Could be a smaller city. What about this? Salta. Hey, that could be it, couldn't it? Yeah, that could be it. Okay, so we've got something. Let me just size this up then. Looks like there's a church in the distance. So let's... Oh, hang on. Okay, we've got a church in the distance. It might not be Salta. I might be totally wrong. <coughs> I'm just going off a hunch. And what I can see of this sign, I can't read it very well, but I can see that it begins with C. That's all that I can see. There, Caseros. How about that? So we can go for this. I've got a good feeling about it. Oh, we've got this over the road as well. And that looks like a park there. Like that. Uh, no, it would be there, wouldn't it? If that's where we were. We're probably not there, but what does that say? Panadega or something. I don't know. Really not sure. I'll have a quick scan just in case. Panadega. Panaderia? No way. Is that what I'm looking at? Let me have one more look. Do you know what? I think it does. It could well say Panaderia. Which is absolutely mental. And then you've got this. Cosmetologia Integral. That word, though, Caseros, certainly does match up. I've got to go for this. I think this could be right. Is there a church down here? Yes, that's it. Parroquia San Juan. And there's others further on. And the mountain in the distance. Look, there's a viewpoint there. I've got good hopes about this. I won't keep you any longer. I, t I don't believe it in many ways. I don't believe it. But in others, I do. And I've got to just be really proud of that one. That's one of my favourite detective workings out ever. And it's another perfect score. What a video this has been, despite not getting uh, on the leaderboard. But we can still beat my record with a perfect score there. What do I need? Oh my goodness me. Oh my goodness me. Similar situation to last week, where I had the British round, uh, yesterday rather, where I had the British round. And all I needed to do was get a decent guess of about 50 miles away. But this might be harder. Because this looks like... Um, Albania, Montenegro, Macedonia, that sort of thing. Mapo. Mapo Lodjo. Have I had this round before on a stream? That Mapo thing rings a bell, possibly. But um, <clears throat> I genuinely don't remember what the upshot was. I'm still as clueless as I otherwise would have been. So we need... Let me just grab the calculator. I've broke it. No, I haven't. 18 to... No, I need to go uh, 22,996 minus 18,209. 4787. 4787. Again, the odds are here that I'm just not going to do this. It's very, very slim. Croatia is an option, isn't it? I think I'm leaning towards Montenegro. So I'm going to go for that. And I'll go not too far from the sea, I guess. Touristy. Coach. There's a coach, so 
maybe touristy. Or I could just go in the middle of Montenegro, couldn't I? I'll go there. That's my final answer. I, do, I really don't know if I've got the right country here, but here goes. Oh my goodness me. I don't believe it. It's 20 miles away. 4912 points. Let's view the summary. 23121. Get in. That's incredible. Um, the only downer on that is that I might have, I don't even know, I might have had that round before. I just remember Mapo being written on a bin, I think. But genuinely, I, I, I'm just going off vibes. Montenegro, incredible. Three, uh, two, three, one, two, one points. Just that one, look. Let's look at the rounds. Oh no, I've clicked on the actual thing. Uh, the actual game breakdown. 4801, 5000. I had two perfect scores there. Man, if it weren't for that one. Kyrgyzstan and Salter. Wow, what a game. I won't keep you any longer, guys. Um, I'm inching towards that leaderboard. Um, and yeah, hopefully in the next time I can get even closer. That would be anything above this now will be entertainment and it will be satisfying for me and it will be progress. So um, yeah, the next video I release, might it might be this again. I won't lie because you know what I'm like. Once I've started something, I can't stop. But it might be something different. Either way, I'll see you there. Ta-ra.